Hey guys, James Barber, jamesbarber.com. I wanted to share a story with you that uh, changed my life. It's about help. Uh, and really focused me on, since I was a kid, really, about helping. Always had this thing with it. Um, wanting to help, needing to help, finding ways to help. When I was little, uh, my father traveled a lot uh, for work. And uh, unbeknownst to most of our family, uh, he did something which changed the course of the lives of a few people. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second, but the way most people found out about it was at my father's funeral, there was a family there from China, uh, a husband and wife and their grown daughter. And they were in the back uh, and they were very, very upset. You know, it's a funeral, so people get sad and upset. And 99% uh, of the people that were in attendance had no idea who they were. And uh, they were confused. Although I did, and my mother did, and my sister did. They, um, they were a family that my father helped. So going back a number of years, probably, I would say, probably 15 years, to that date, maybe more. Uh, my father was traveling in the Morgantown, West Virginia area. Well, he was in Virginia, and he was at the airport. And um, he uh, he saw a, a young woman uh, with a piece of paper, and she was trying to, to get someone to understand her. She didn't speak much English. And finally, he went over, and, and he tried to say, you know, what do you what do you need help with? And she handed him a paper and it was uh, a, a phone number for Morgantown University in, down there. And uh, so he called the number and found out that she was going to go to school there and uh, to teach English as a second language back in China. That's what she was learning. So uh, basically my father helped her facilitate getting to the university and gave her our contact information. He found out that uh, her husband was still in China and her young daughter was still in China and she had come over because it was difficult to come over at that time. She wasn't from Hong Kong, she was from mainland China. So um, he remained in contact with her and um, she would, you know, uh, every once in a while call the house and we would talk and I was studying Chinese in, uh, in college at that time, the language. And so there was kind of an acute not acute, there was an affinity there, you know, like a reciprocal thing because I had an interest in China. Long story short, um, my father ended up um, sponsoring her daughter to come over from China and then her husband helped them get their first car. And all these years later, um, the husband, I think she, the wife, got a, ended up with a PhD teaching at a university and the husband got a high level position as an engineer uh, and the daughter came over as a, as a young girl and now has an incredible life not that she wouldn't have before but when you see them sitting at my father's funeral um, I didn't know how much he affected their lives I didn't know you know I knew that he had helped and they became a part of our family I mean they just would come and hang out when you know, sometimes during holidays, we would see them infrequently, but when we, when we did, it was, was nice. But to realize watching them and their response to his passing um, really impacted me all those years later on the effect that just one person had on these people's lives. And those acts, when I was younger, watching what my father would do, and I'll talk more about it, he was a pretty incredible guy. Um, came from nothing and uh, made something of himself. But those acts of helping, just one act, one act of talking to somebody, one act of saying hello, one act of saying, can I help you? You never know what it's going to do. You never know how it's going to affect someone's life for the better. So that's my story for today. See what you can do to help somebody today. Just one thing. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.